United Alpha, the United Alpha only again. Radio America 3, Quebec, United Alpha 5, Night Roger. Radio Alpha 3, Quebec, Unit from Alpha 59 also, thank you, good luck. Good luck, 7 to 3. Charlie 3, Charlie, Unit from November, QRZ. Signal. Um, I'm showing my son here, Sebastian, um, the, the workings of radio and trying to get him to understand uh, the difference of uh, how you can uh, speak to around the world on a little piece of wire. Thank you, Sierra 573, Delta X. Hello, YouTube. Uh, my call sign is uh, LB3 Sierra Alpha, and uh, um, I. I just want to talk a little bit about the Kenwood TS-890 and the audio and uh, and this kit that I bought to improve the audio in the in the matching speaker. So um, I'm uh, I'm very disappointed in Kenwood, like JVC Kenwood. Uh, they have a beautiful transceiver with beautiful audio. They have some very nice filters. They have like a 16 band uh, is it 16 band equalizer. Uh, and uh, they're doing everything they can to get a good audio and then you go and buy the matching speaker to the radio and it's just an empty box with a relatively I think shitty uh, speaker driver um, at least it's not it's not very good so uh, it's very strange why they do this why they couldn't put a little more effort into making this making this speaker sound a little nicer it wouldn't really take a lot so uh, before I go further please hit that subscribe button and also I'm not sponsored by Kenwood or Phonema or or anyone else this is just a video I'm doing after doing this upgrade so um, when I opened the speaker, as I mentioned, the SP890, it was totally empty, it's hollow, and the audio is thereafter, it's hollow audio, and uh, particularly on CW, it's not very comfortable to, to listen to, and I much prefer just the internal speaker in the, in the 890 to the, uh, to the external matching speaker. So I have tried a, f uh, a few different things, and uh, I have this Marshall speaker, and uh, it looks like this. Um, it's a very nice speaker, has very good audio. It has uh, auxiliary input on the side here, and uh, you can plug that into the phones, uh, to the phones jack on the front of the radio, and then you can use the volume on the radio, and that's about it's about the right um, level for for the Marshall auxiliary input. And uh, it sounds very good, and particularly if someone is uh, is doing uh, ESSB, then it sounds very good. Um, but uh, I'm not really into ESSB myself. I'm usually staying at 2.9 kilohertz bandwidth maximum. Um, and when I'm talking with other people that have that type of bandwidth, it doesn't really matter if you have a speaker that covers a big frequency range or not. It just doesn't matter. So uh, with the SP890, I got that, I plugged it in. I was disappointed right away. It's very light, it feels very cheap because it's it's light it looks good it looks very good i think but the uh, the the texture on the speaker is a little different than the texture on the radio which is very strange it's like a different type of plastic i don't know why they have why they have done that but it doesn't really bother me a lot they look very it, it looks like a matching speaker no doubt um, but um, but when you open it up, it's totally hollow, it's totally empty. And why? But it's not only Kenwood that does this. Uh, I have had other uh, top or, or high-end radios, and when you buy the matching speaker, they are usually they are empty. Um, so uh, what I did, I bought this kit from Phonema. I'll put the link in the in, in the in the description. And uh, you don't have to buy that kit. You can do this a lot cheaper. And that will be the comments, I'm sure, is that, oh, I did this for five bucks at, from Walmart or something, right? So uh, you can buy these cheap acoustic mats and you can do a job yourself. And uh, if you know a little bit about acoustic, uh, acoustic treatment, you can get that to sound very good, I'm sure. Here in Norway, um, I was looking at buying some mats and I went to some audio stores that's, that, that deals with acoustic treatment. But those are actually more expensive than the phonema kit because you have to buy it by the meter. You can't buy just a little piece here and there. Uh, so it ends up being more. Uh, but there are there is a, a, a shop here that sells some very cheap mats. So I guess I could have used those. But anyways, I bought the kit. And uh, I'm very happy about it. It's, uh, it's custom fitted. It came with, uh, with a nice instruction manual. It seems to be a high quality kit. And... Uh, 
it's heavy though. It um, I put it on on the scales and I, it's like almost 1.4 kilo, and um, so when you put it in the speaker, it's very compact. You you put a mat on the bottom and one on each side and one on the back and one on the top, uh, and then you have these foam pieces in between. If they really do a good job or not, I don't know, but. It looks good uh, and when it's all back together the speaker all of a sudden feels it weighs more it just feels more compact and the audio is more compact and it um, it's much more comfortable to listen to than before I did this upgrade so that's all I want to say um, as I said you can do this I'm sure a lot cheaper uh, by all means do that um, but I, I really, I'm really happy about the kit. So, some people may say, "Well, this kit cost whatever." So it was, was it forty bucks, fifty bucks? And I'm thinking that the radio here in Norway, in uh, in American money, this radio is is almost six thousand dollars, and the speaker was two hundred and fifty dollars. So when I'm spending over six thousand dollars on on a radio. I'm quite okay to spend forty bucks on a on a good quality acoustic uh, uh, treatment kit. So that's uh, individual. It's just my my personal feeling about it. So, uh, but I am disappointed <laughs> for uh, of Kenwood uh, creating this nice equipment, and they do have a reputation for for this Kenwood sound, the Kenwood audio, and then they ruin it by putting by selling a matching speaker uh, that really just doesn't sound good. I did uh, order another driver for my speaker. Uh, I know that's a little nuts, but I bought this. Um, uh, I haven't received it yet. I will do another video probably when I receive it. But um, it's a uh, it's another driver. It's um, it should fit exactly just back in, in the same screw holes and everything as this driver. But it's a full range hi-fi driver. It has a lot of good reviews. People are using it in their cars and, and making bookshelf speakers out of it. And they say it's a very good full range speaker with very good audio. So I'm gonna sw swap it anyways. Put it in there. See what it sounds like. And uh, uh, of course the speaker then then is is a is an expensive speaker. But then again compared to the radio again, it's not so much money so so that's it that's all i want to, to talk about i hope it has been helpful and again please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and uh, and uh, you'll get to see more reviews later thanks for listening